It's like your live show. <laughs> Yeah, hello, this is Cuckoo. I'm right here at Harkin Audio's booth, and we've got all these hotshot guys here. Yeah. And so we figured out that Edmund is the, the sophisticated guy. You're the crazy inventor, but, but Christophe, he is the, the nerd. So <laughs> what we're going to do today is to, to show how you can use the Continuum fingerboard as a CV controller. Uh, and uh, so how do you make a patch uh, speak CV and what we, do we need to do it? It's quite easy. You need two things. The continuum <laughs> connected to a CVC box that gives you 16 uh, CV out. Yeah. Uh, each nut is going to give you four, four different CV. A trigger, the, the pitch control, the Y control and the pressure, the Z control. And then you have a small preset. This one is kind of the most simple preset in the world where I have here a CVC control with an A formula using a, 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 just a simple trigger. Uh, the B formula just putting the X pitch control on the, on the X of, of, of the CV. Uh, the, the C formula just giving a little bit of Y so you, you can select the range you want to need, you want to have. So you do it here. And this one being the Z with a bit of release that, that we have added here. So that's very simple. You can do whatever you want. If you want to modulate everything here, that's possible. Yeah. So basically, we, we got uh, the whole Continuum uh, engine, the Eagle Matrix, to, to a full disposal. disposal. Uh, when we're making a CV patch, it could be something very, you know, it could be automated, it could be some uh, action going on there. But right now, we're just going to do it very simple. Right now, we're using just one group uh, of CV controllers, but there are actually several groups that you can use. So if you want to use like uh, two or three groups, how do you set it up? Yeah, yeah, it's quite easy. You, you've got here several, you can add a, a second CVC at, at that level. So you've got here one CVC, X, W, X, Y, D, a second yeah. one, W, X, Y, Z, and you can add a, a second one with two additional ones, yeah. so it's going to be four W, X, Y, Z. It can yeah. be all the same, but it can be different way of modulating them or arranging them. Yeah. So it's 16 outputs. So 16 totally independent output that you can manage just with your, with your fingers. So I'm just going to try to connect it to this uh, little modular here and see what we can do with it. So I'm going to hand over the, the, the camera to my nerd friend. First of all, I'm going to try just the pitch to see if it works here. I'm going to connect it to this, um, and then it send the audio from this spectrum from WMD here. Pick a sign. I'm just going to send it to the mixer here. See. Yeah? And it just stays right because there's no envelope right now. Okay, cool. So what if I send this instead? Yeah, let's add something to it. We got X, Y. Let's add some Y to something. I'm gonna mute this for a moment and see. We can use something to mess it up. Maybe the a triangle from here. I'm gonna send it into here as a FM something. Then we need to kind of, yeah, change this. What we did, we did something here, right? We uh, sent the signal in here, and we sent the y-axis in here, right? As a as a VCA input, and then the signal out here to the FM. Yeah, so now we've got some crazy FM going on here. Yeah, okay. Ah, sorry, I'm gonna lower the volume a bit. Then let's use the... Here's the gate, right? I'm gonna put it into the other one. I'm gonna move it a little bit like that. And instead of sending this sound 
uh, where is it? Where is the sound? <laughs> right here. Instead of sending it straight there, I'm going to send it to here and make a little gate with some cables. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to send send it out there again. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's super precise, but the reason why it's a bit crazy in pitch now is because it's got modulation going. Okay, so let's use the sequencer to something. Let's make like a, a kick drum track here. I made something before. Uh, trigger into this kick, tr T kick. Oh. Cables, cables. Gonna have the right length. Output. I'm gonna send it straight here. Okay, where are we? Okay. Yeah, and then some. The B track should, could be some. I don't know, some hi hat. Uh, with the noise, I guess. Okay, so let's prepare the uh, one of the envelopes here. Um, decay, decay, like this one. Okay, and send some noise into it. Which one? Like standard noise, perhaps? Into this. Uh, inputs, and then send it out here to some yeah to this channel. Let's see. Yeah. And maybe we could do some release time here on the on the gate, I guess. Would that work? Yeah. The gate now, yeah. It's a bit crazy. Let's, let's see what we want to do. Um, yeah, let's actually put this through uh, through another um, envelope and sequence it as well, like in this one. So put it here, into the second envelope. Trigger input, is this trigger? Yeah, trigger. And then send the audio out here. Yeah. filter to beefing it up a bit. Let's see. I need more cables. Out and in. to that. Maybe we could tune the bass with the same thing that is tuning the this thing. Okay, let's see. 
X is now going straight into here. Well, we could put it into here and split it. Oops. So we could have like one. Oh, it's too short. One of the pitch going into uh, into this, and one a, a copy of it running into the the noise. No, yeah, the kick. C V N. Uh, there. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, yeah. Continuum fingerboard, CV controller, bassful instruments, of course. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you.